shop here. Don't care. Yesterday, on Craigslist, a gentleman named Richard, thank you, Richard, posted a Rockwell Model 14 bandsaw. I am so happy to have this thing. You guys have no idea. I can start cutting out blanks with this bed, baby, instead of trying to do it with my chainsaw, which I'm kind of getting better at, but that's going to be a longer process. So... I'm excited. Be excited because, you know, you guys can stop getting on to me about cutting my stuff out. I will still throw things on the lathe that are like crazy and out of shape and whatever else just because, um, just because I can. <laughs> Sorry. But I'm excited for this bad baby. I'm waiting for um, tires for it. I gotta get those. I ordered them on Amazon. They should be here tomorrow. And then, of course, lining up all my bearings and the blade and everything else. But it's all taken apart right now because I PB blasted it, been sitting and not being used. So, cleaning it up. I gotta figure out how to adjust the um, belt because it is a little loose. I'll show you. It might be too dark. Sorry about that. It rubs along the bottom here. Now, it doesn't when it's turned on. You can't hear it. But when I hand turn it, it does that. So, I don't know. Um, the mount was remounted, not its original mount. So, I'll have to... Um, it doesn't look to me that it was remounted to be made adjustable. So, we'll see. Anywho, that's what's going on in the shop. Been terribly busy this week. Um with just life so I didn't get to do a midweek um, video today or tonight I'm going to try to turn um, the gentleman I picked the um, bandsaw up from had some oak in his wood pile and it all looks like it's been spalting so and it has some really cool Curves. I got a crotch piece there. That's probably what I'm going to try to turn. Has little holes and everything else in it, just right up my alley. Uh, I can fill with, you know, resin or something. That would be neat. So I might throw that on tonight. It's hot and muggy. It may storm. So I'm kind of slowly moving my day, dragging my behind. Today was grocery day, so I had to go grocery shopping and and all the other errands that I got to do. Take care of the family. Anywho, I uh, hope to be able to put a video. I recorded a video this weekend, this past weekend, and I found that my, um, oh, crazy here, my knockoff GoPro that I ordered, that I, that I used to record, had a zoom on it. Just because it has something doesn't mean it can be used learned that the hard way so all of my videos that I did this past weekend um, all of the certain shots and the video look like ants crawling all over the screen it is so bad so I may or may not make you guys suffer through that being that's the only footage I have and my weekends are really the days when I have uh, to put up footage or to record footage I should say and then I just work on editing them throughout the week so, that's what happens. You start trusting electronics and they fail you every time. But, anyway, hopefully I can get that oak crotch piece turned. I'm really interested to see what's inside of it. So, thank you, Richard, for, um, for letting me go through your burn pile and wood stack and letting me have some of your wood. And for the bandsaw, yay! Oh! I swear there was angels singing when we loaded that thing back up. And my husband was huffing and puffing, and so was I trying to get it in here. Because it's all cast iron. The thing's heavy. It's probably, I don't want to say as heavy as my lathe, but darn near it. Anyways, it's hot and muggy. Let's get something turning. Sorry about the noise. Fans are going. So, I already installed 
the first tire on my new rock wheel. I'm gonna set the other one down, I gotta go find it. So one thing about the instructions, the gentleman who purchased, I purchased this from said that he heat his tires up um, to get them to go on. This particular manual says there's a lot of poor information out, out there about heating your tires up to get them on and they suggest not to do that because it will uh, make the life of your tire and the gentleman that I bought this from, Richard, sorry, um, just giving out information, so no offense on how you did it. Um, the gentleman I bought this from, his were like literally crumbling apart like dry rotted plastic. Now, he didn't use his often, the saw, he only used it a few times uh, to build a boat, which is pretty cool. Um, but, yeah, it's a little better. I look like haggish today. Sorry. Um, so his was dry rotted really bad. So I'm thinking that could be one of the possibilities. The reason why his tires had dry rotted so badly is because they were heated up and you know plastics and things like that. They so they recommend you stretching them. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be such a process because they. I mean, you cannot get them on unless you do a little stretch. So I just put my foot on it and pull up and do that about four times. Without, I'm trying to get my phone in the camera view here and I'm hitting everything. I ain't got no elbow room. <laughs> so, um, that's what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it under my foot, pull it up a few times, and uh, that seemed to work really well on the on the top tire. So, that's why I got food. Aw, Chloe came to visit. That's my poop eater right there. Yes, you are. It's kind of smoky in here because we have uh, wood chips and stuff burning. <sighs> I just want to get this done. I got a dryer. I got to get out of the house because I got a new one delivered tomorrow because it decided to go. My, my stove decided to go. When it rains, it pours, right? The top one went on much easier, I promise. It's only because I started the camera. And it fits in perfectly. I got these off of Amazon. If you need new tires for your 14, it's a 14 inch uh, Rockwell. The model 14 is, and I got a serial number, but that's it. Heavy as heck. Should last longer than all of us put together. Got me some new tires on my ride. Here's the fun part, putting it all back together. He did a video years ago, well not years ago, about two years ago, two years ago when I first got my smaller bandsaw, <laughs> I wanted to know the ins and outs of it, because the first time I owned one, and at that time I was just 
I wasn't turning it. I was just cutting out little signs um, and stuff. And I watched his, I think he has a couple of videos on bandsaw maintenance and you know how to cut on them, everything else. So I'll put the link to his YouTube channel below. And if I can f actually find the video about bandsaws, I'll put that in there. I'm not, I can't remember which one it was they had. It was, like I said, it was like two years ago that I watched the video, but um, I watched it quite a bit so that way I would remember what's going on. Now, probably now it would been a good time for me to watch it right before I started this, but, um, but if it's your first bandsaw experience, that's really good to brush up on that video. Um, I'm just showing you what I'm doing and it may be wrong, so just to warn you. Um, so you can laugh at me if you see me doing things wrong. First of all, make sure your teeth of your blade are going down, because I made that mistake one time and got everything all put together in my old bandsaw and then I end up having the teeth and what happens is the blade gets like flipped. Yeah, live and learn. And it's unplugged. Make sure you have it unplugged. You don't want no accidents. That's how much accidents. I'm just adjusting that bearing that the blade bearings like this. The blade, it doesn't come on the side of it. It just, so it keeps it from moving back on top and bottom. I don't think you can make it right on the side because it actually bows the blade out. So it's kind of obvious that that's how it works. But I guess depending on how your thing is positioned, mine just goes in and out this way. There is no left or right to it. It's so. all the checks and balances I need to do before I put this thing back together.
this is what it looks like to figure out what it is you're doing. This is what all you professionals look like before you begin a professional. Bumming around, trying to figure out what part goes where. Don't lie. to turn it on all at the same time. Just think it. 